Okay, sometimes comments happen, and I encourage the comments on our videos, not just the chat. We have over 100 people here. Shout out to the members who are joining us on a Tuesday. That's typically when we film this podcast live, you know, a little bit after noon. But if you comment on the actual video, and it doesn't matter what you say, comment on the video. It helps the, the production so much. But it also ends you to win stuff, and we have an Omni-Man Invincible number one that you can win. I want to know what your thoughts are, and... Let's talk about your viewer comments that you posted on our past videos. Go ahead and uh, read them with Bugsy, Bugsy Kingpin, Kingpin said. Comics led to my career as well. Okay, so this was from the clip of our bank interview segment that we did yeah, in our last, last live week, show. Yeah, last week, make sure to check out the podcast. There's a clip online. That is the show where I talked about with Ryan how we met, you know, how this friendship began. I hired him at the bank. It was a cool story. Yeah. Comics led to my career as well. As an avid collector, as a teen, I would track monthly values of my collection on graph paper. Monthly. I did something kind of similar. I, did, I didn't think about that. You probably update that all the time. Yeah, every book. Monthly. Ugh. Stumbled upon finance in college, which in my mind meshed perfectly with the hobby. Went on to get an MBA slash CFA and, be CFA and became an investment advisor. In the biz, 20 plus years now and still collecting. I thought this comment be, it was really fun because one of the... I don't know, things I thought of on the mic when we were discussing our, you know, our first meeting and how we became our, became friends was pointing out that that was like a time of my life that I wasn't as, I know I didn't look at work as something I was looking forward to. Right. So I look back now and go, wow, like some of the most important friendships I ever made was during a time of my life that I didn't really think a lot of like positive things about. So, you know. Another thing that's being pointed out by Bugsy Kingpin is the power of comic books in the community. The word community gets thrown around a lot. We say it a lot on the show, but the IG comic fam has been around longer than this show, right? The YouTube comic fam. You didn't invent it. No, 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 no. And it's a real thing. Just like comic karma is a real thing. It's more real than most karma. Like I don't actually believe in karma, 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 like karma chameleon. No, I, I, believe in like comic karma you know i've seen it with my own eyes my ohos so this is uh bugsy who experienced parts of the hobby being part of wanting to buy selling and collecting wherever he landed in this case it sounds like he's doing a lot of collecting and a lot of investing but with that grind he was introduced to things that related to the real world and that stuff happens with comics we see it all the time that's true i love seeing john's comics with kids where he's like reviewing Comic books with Kay and Charlie, who are awesome, by the way. Shout out to John, John's Comics with Kids. Uh, go follow them on um, YouTube. But over the last few years, you know, they're like their family does, right? Right. And with the medium of comics, their, their social interaction with the community has been outstanding to see. It's been so much fun seeing how, like, personable they are as a family. And it's like, wow, this was the catalyst to doing things, to stepping out of your shell, you know? And it's, it's a beautiful thing to see. So comics do that. And that's a part of the community that the more publishers and creators see and value, they'll be able to tell like, oh, there's an added layer of responsibility beyond just publishing comics. No, you're serving a community at large, which is why the collectible market is so respected by many who are part of it. Because unless you are deep into the collectible, there are other areas like reading comics by hand. Like those are things that experiences that grow the community in ways that those who avoid it or those who are not part of it they typically get introduced to it late. Does that make sense? I think so. I don't know. You follow me, comic fam? I don't even know anymore. Next, next. I think I'm following. I'm, I'm hearing that you're speaking. Comic Tom, do you gym? Absolutely. Dude, you can't not gym. Well, once you hit comics. 30, you know, also you got to just you gotta you gotta take some stuff seriously after after 30. It's like, oh, oh man. God. I've been on and off trying to keep up, yeah. you know, but Mostly I'll tell off. you. I'll tell you. You want to know who really inspired me? It's your boy, Jim Mint. Yeah. Holy hell, Jim Mint. He's probably sick of hearing it. No, he can't be, man. He's I just, would be. That, that's the kind of dude who like, fuels him. He's like, hell yeah. Because yeah. he's getting people to go and hit the gym. I don't know if you guys have seen, but like, pull up a thumbnail from a year ago and pull up a thumbnail last week. It looks like an entirely different person. And he hit the gym. And it's like, oh, it's tough when I am getting ready with my day. And I'm like, yo, Jim, we're about to record, right? What time do you want to start? And he goes, yo, let's start after I hit the gym. I got to come home, get ready, you know? It's real though. It puts you in a whole different mindset. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to be here not doing that. Yeah. I got to go to the damn gym. It gets in your brain. Yeah. Like, what, what the hell am I doing? What's so anyways, day? go to the gym, comment fam. Um, I recommend it. There's an aspect of it that I found myself enjoying more and more as I got into it. And then you kind of get on this grind that it becomes just a, it's just a, it's your, your own time. And I value that time. 
And it's like, it's good for your health. Let's do it. There's not a lot of stuff in life that you can like chart and go like, I'm getting better at this thing. I'm doing better. Like there are times when I go in the gym and it's like, oh, I'm lifting up my, I'm lifting more than I did, you know, last time I was here. Like, you I'm, feel better too. I leveled up, you know, you don't get that feeling like definitively in like jobs or relationships, like in the Sims. Yeah. We don't really talk about a whole lot of like personal stuff that much on the mic. Cause there's so many funny books to talk about, but if you are going to the gym or, you know, inspired by members like Jim Mint, maybe we'll talk about it more. Cause both of us are hitting the gym hard. Well, I mean, you harder, you harder than I'm, uh, yeah. You said off and on earlier, and I'm in an off period at the moment. But right, I'm there we there. go. The switch shall soon be flipped. But I know my dad just got a personal trainer. I know Jeff's been hitting the gym, you know. So it's like the whole team's kind of doing it more. Right. It's summertime, so it's like, like I feel maybe yeah. maybe with the community's help, we'll all be more inspired because the community inspires me to freaking roll, just like Jen Mint did. All right, um, why don't you read this one, man? Because I cannot say this person's name. It says something <laughs> medium. Ganjabar. Ganjabar. Media. Rorschach. Supergirl and Batman Catwoman are some of the best runs I've read recently. I DK, I don't know what everyone's problem with Tom King is, but I think he's one of the best writers of our era. Everyone loves Donnie Cates, and I feel like his writing is lame. Laughing face emoji. Different strokes for different folks, I suppose. That's so true, man. Um, before this show, legit, we got distracted because we were talking about the horror narrative witches, the comic book. Right. And the first thing Ryan said was, I don't even really like that book. And yeah. I love that book. Yeah. So we have a disagreement. But then I figured out what the disagreement was. It's the writer. Sure. There's been more than like five occasions where I left a comic book written by Scott Snyder. And you're like, it just wasn't for me. And I'm like, how? And then you explain. And it always comes down to the same thing. It's not the art. It's not the pacing. Well, maybe a little bit of the pacing. But it's the Snyder aspect of it. The narration he does specifically. Right? I've gotten into it before, but Noctera yeah. just rubs me the wrong way. Ah, see, that's what I'm talking about. I love Noctera. Come on. He's got a new book dropping, I think, this week or next week about firefighters and the and wildfires, and I'm all over that. I'm going to be grabbing that, and I hopefully won't be saying the same stuff. Aren't you glad that there are so many comics for us to read because some of us will navigate towards some writers? I mean, Ryan and I see eye to eye on a lot of things, but then all of a sudden, what? You don't like Snyder's? What? What's going on, man? But you know what? It keeps things spicy. Say, you know, At least you say that. I like Tom, like unlike Ganjabar's medium here. I like Tom King and Donny Cates. Dude, I'm I constantly just like, scratch my head when people don't like Tom King, man. And I get it. Like I understand it most of the time, but at the same time, I'm like I had fun reading this, man. Some of his books are less fun than others, but I think the three he points out here, Rorschach and excellent. Supergirl, especially those two, I love. I and love dude, Rorschach. Nobody how many people it. would say that? Not a lot of people. It's easier. Uh, to if just... you have a YouTube channel, I'll tell you how many people. Would, would say the opposite of that Yeah. if they had a YouTube channel because there's a lot of people who criticize those runs. There's probably people who are disliking the video right now. Probably some people in the chat saying some bad things. Uh-oh. All right. Um, you want know, to know something else that members in the chat are saying that are bad? What? Really bad. Oh. The comic book community has been infiltrated. This is not just happening on this channel, and it's not just happening on other members' channel. There are individuals, probably because they see the Marvel NFT buzz, that they're going, oh, wait a minute, comic books are a thing. And there is a little bit of a collector's value in comics, so they may be interested in NFTs and investing in crypto. So this is something that's been happening. This is why we need the community to comment like crazy on our videos, because if you don't, our comments are going to be invaded by members trying to take your damn money. And I'm not talking about in a good way. You know, like... Is there a good way? <laughs> I mean, dude, hey, if, if there's a drop by Johnny Desjardins and it's like, yo, comic fan. Oh, Patrick Gleason just dropped oh, this comic. Oh, you're getting something in yo, return. go get the okay. comic book. Yeah. It just dropped. So okay. that's a good reason to comment. Or I'm speculating on this book. Go check this out. These people have it for cheap. Like, I love that kind of stuff. Go spend your money. Get some books for a deal. Help your fellow comic fan members. I mean, that's a good reason to be in the chat. But I'm talking like people soliciting you like what is clearly garbage. And this is what I know. This is how I know it's garbage. <laughs> someone says, Jonathan, someone named Jonathan Carl. This is all happening on the same day, okay? Jonathan Carl says, I'm a newbie. How can I earn as much as you do? These were all replies on one comment that we deleted. Different <laughs> we people. These are 16 replies to one comment. This was right here. This is a coordinated effort amongst 16 different accounts, comic fam, all to boost one comment. So I'm letting you know so you don't get swindled here because we're trying to keep up with it, right? Jonathan Carl says, I'm a newbie. How can I earn as much as you do? Kura Bobby says, wow. Believe Joanne Mary Grancelli is the best. Her trading skills are top notch. Then Angelus Kassa, another account says, same here. I will praise Miss Joanne M. 
over and over again because she has great skills. I started with $2,000 and after two weeks, I received a return of $6,000 and then I continue with her ever since she has been delivering. And yes, the grammar. Seems legit. It seems legit, but the grammar is a little off. But here's the thing. 16 comments later of different accounts saying the same thing. All str- all just like playing with each other in the Making comments. $80,450 weekly trading profit with her. Red flag, right? Yeah. Um, $80,000 a week. And you're commenting on a Comic Tom YouTube video. <laughs> yeah, about something that has nothing that to do with the video. Nobody watches us. So this is terrible. So... Keep in mind, comic fam, we are not a channel that has div- dove into NFTs and specifics about investing in NFTs. I'll tell you, I love me some NFTs, the right ones. The community of NFT members are doing some next level stuff. Raph Grissetti, anyone? Like it's getting pretty damn dope in that field. And we'll probably bring some comic books specifically that have been created through the NFT space, all for it. However, it's this kind of stuff that you got to watch out for because they're trying to get your money and we're trying to protect you. Is there even a link to click on here for Mrs. Joanne Grancelli? I like mean, these are people all just talking about her and pumping her up, but there's no like click the link now to, to sign up and... Terrible. I, I don't know. They're just, trying to take advantage of Watch out, of I guess. Laugh at it like we do because it's fun, but... It is. It is kind of funny. 